All right, I am pasting the words to let it go into cell A2. I'd like to mention one more time, this is not my favorite song. This is my earworm, the one I can't seem to ever get rid of. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up any characters we can't see in here that might mess up our analysis. And the next thing we're gonna do is remove any capitalization from here. Now we have a nice set of very clean words. We're gonna copy the cell A6, we're gonna paste it into A10 as values only. This one, two, three means paste is values only. Now we're going to do text to columns, which you can find in the data tab. We're going to use delimited and space. Now we're going to copy all the filled cells in A10. And we're going to paste transpose. And remember, the paste transpose is this funky little double-sided arrow thing. I'm going to copy one more time. I'm going to paste it here. Now I'm going to sort ascending as in the data tab. Sort ascending. Now, what we're going to do is a formula, and the formula is going to compare this word to the previous word. If it's the same, it's going to count as a zero, but if it's a unique word, we're going to count it as a one. So if B19 equals B18, let's give it a zero. But if it's unique, let's give it a one. We're gonna take that formula and we're gonna paste it in every cell in our data set. Now, we're going to get the total count of words in the song. And so, we're going to use the formula equals count A. This counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty. We're going to come over here to B18, and we're going to count everything in our selection. And our song has 340 words in it. And now we're going to sum our unique columns, our unique numbers. So our song has 340 words in it, but only 129 are unique, or another way to look at it, 38% of the words in this song are unique. 